Coming up, let's break down the Browns' 2024 schedule presented by Game Time. Get $20 off your first purchase when you use code CHATSPORTS. Terms apply. But before we look at the Browns' schedule, get your record predictions in the comments section below. Last year, I had them going 11-6. and six. Where did they go? I can't remember now. But let me know what your record prediction is down below. The Browns' 2024 schedule has been leaked, and I trust the leakers on the web, so we're going to run with it before the team announces the schedule officially at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I can't remember exactly, but you guys will get an early peek at it. Now, I want to run through all 17 games, and then we'll come back to each one and break it down in further detail. But the Browns, as we've known for a few days, hour or two, um, two days or so, open up the season week one at home against the Dallas Cowboys. It is Fox's America's Game of the Week with Tom Brady. Then week two, they go to the Jags for their first road matchup. Week three, home against the Giants. Week four, at Las Vegas. So if you want to go to Vegas, uh, this would be a good time to do so against the Raiders. Week five, at the Washington Commanders. Week six, at the Philadelphia Eagles. That's a really tough stretch right there. Week seven, home against the Bengals. Week eight, against the Ravens. Now they sort of enter their divisional foe matchups. Week Week 9 for a third straight home matchup against the LA Chargers. Week 10, they catch their breath with a bye week that's much better placement than last year, which was week 5, too early. Week 11 in New Orleans against the Saints, another great road matchup, a road destination too. Week 12, home against the Steelers on Thursday night football. First time they see the Yinzers. Week 13 in Denver on Monday Night Football. So back-to-back primetime matchups and a little bit of an extra buy or two, extra day of rest. Week 14, they face the Steelers yet again in Pittsburgh. Week 15, they are at Arrowhead against Mahomes and the Chiefs. Week 16 in Cincinnati on Thursday Night Football yet again. Week 17, down in South Beach on Sunday Night Football. So once again, back-to-back primetime matchups. The final of four scheduled primetime standalone games. And Week 18, they conclude the season in Baltimore against the the Ravens. Now we're going to go in depth on all of these games here because the schedule and the timing of these games is really important to team's success. But make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get ourselves to 35,000 subscribers. We're less than 500 subs away. We've got daily content, breaking news coverage. Also, we go live every single Tuesday here on the channel and everything's free. So join one of the best Browns YouTube communities out there. Hit the sub button down below. Now, with all that being said, let's jump into some of the matchups the Browns have. I want to go in chronological order of weeks 1 through 18 because I do think the timing of some of these games is really important. So let's start with the Dallas Cowboys who come in and all eyes are on Dallas. All eyes are on Dak Prescott. And I could see the Cowboys going, Cleveland, not as sexy and fun as us in Dallas, they're at the button of a lot of jokes like Micah Parsons let off in the offseason. And I can't wait for David and Joku to remind Micah Parsons and the Dallas Cowboys just how physical and talented this Browns team is. So that's going to be a really fun week one matchup between the Cowboys and the Browns. It'll also be Tom Brady's first game as an NFL broadcaster. Week two, they are in Jacksonville against the Jags. The Jags, the prior week, I like to look at what team did the week before they played the Browns. What are they coming out of before facing Cleveland? They were in Miami, so this will be their home opener. Week three, they play the Giants. I kind of like playing the Giants on the earlier side. It feels like if a Daniel Jones benching happens, that's only going to make the team better. So I'd rather face Daniel Jones, and I'm probably going to regret those words in a few months because I put that curse out there. But let's talk about this upcoming stretch here. Week four against the Raiders on the road. The prior week, Las Vegas was in Carolina in week three, so they come back to the West Coast as well. But that's not going to be an easy stretch for these upcoming road games here. But going back to that Browns-Cowboys game, who you got to open up the season? Give me the Brownies all day long. I feel like Dallas knows that they're going to think that the Browns are some second-tier franchise and that they can walk all over them. 
They're honestly like offended that the NFL did not put them in Sunday Night Football to open up the season. So they're going to think this is a cakewalk, and Jim Schwartz is going to punch him right in the mouth. So I can't wait for the Brownies to get the season underway against the Cowgirls. Spam CLE if you're on my side. Week 5 at the Washington Commanders. Just think about the travel for a moment. As week 6, by the way, is in Philadelphia. So the Browns go from somewhat middle-ish of the country, but not really, more on the East Coast, all the way over to Vegas, all the way back, then to the other coast a little bit more, and then stay over there. I mean, these two games back-to-back is not so difficult, but a lot of going across the country from Cleveland to Vegas, back to Cleveland, over to D.C., back to Cleveland, over to Philadelphia. That's a really tough three-day stretch on the road in order. Week 7, they kind of uh, catch their breath, come back home, and they open up their first AFC North game with the Cincinnati Bengals coming to town. I would prefer to have played the Bengals earlier in the season just because it always feels like Joe Burrow is not at 100% health earlier on, so better to face him then than later on, but oh well. Week 8, they have the Baltimore Ravens coming to town, so back-to-back matchups there. Um, The Bengals, by the way, the previous week, they would be coming off a Sunday night football matchup in New York against the Giants. The Ravens, meanwhile, remember this, the previous week, they play in Tampa Bay on Monday night football. So a bit of a shortened week and back-to-back road games. So one less day of rest, and they go from Tampa to Cleveland. So not all, uh, not optimal for the Baltimore Ravens, but it is our game time featured game because this one could be for the AFC North. I think the Browns and the Ravens are the top two teams in the division. It'll be Cleveland's first look at Baltimore, and it's going to come at Cleveland Browns Stadium. And it's our game time featured game. So today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Get seats to this matchup when you visit Game Time, and you can save $20 off when you use code CHATSPORTS. There is nothing more frustrating than spending time searching for the best ticket prices, which is why you should give Game Time a shot. They have flash deals, zone deals, and the lowest price guaranteed. So download Game Time today and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply, but I already put all that information down below in the comments and description of today's video. But Game Time is the best place to find last-minute seats, whether it's a Browns game, Guardians game, Cavs game, any sporting event in your local area. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CHAT Sports for $20 off. All that information for you guys is in the comments and description of today's video. Let's get back to the schedule now. Week 9, after a home matchup against the Ravens, the Chargers come to town. The Browns and Chargers' last few matchups, I mean, the most recent one was in Cleveland two years ago, and then, remember, 2021 in L.A. was an absolute shootout. So these games are always pretty entertaining, but the Browns have been on the wrong side of both results. Hopefully that ends here. Plus, we get to see Jim Harbaugh come back to uh, his neck of the woods of, you know, the Midwest. Week 10, the Browns get a bye. That's a really good bye placement, right? This is the beginning of November, so it's a good time for everyone to kind of just take a break, get some college football in you, maybe you know, trick your girlfriend going like, you know what, babe, I'll take this Sunday off in the Cleveland Browns. We can go to a pumpkin patch. Sounds like great timing to me. Week 11 at New Orleans against the Saints. That's always a lot of fun to go down to the Big Easy. The previous week, the Saints would have been home against the Falcons. So back-to-back home games for New Orleans. But week 12, let's go. Let's effing go. Week 12, home against the Pittsburgh Steelers on Thursday night football. Last time these two teams faced in Cleveland on Thursday night football, the Browns demolished the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm optimistic it can happen again. Plus, the Steelers would have just finished a game with the Ravens. So you talk about just not feeling like yourself because you just went through the battering ram, which is the Baltimore Ravens, to follow it up with the Jim Schwartz-led Cleveland Browns defense. They're going to be sore, to say the least. Week 13, back-to-back primetime matchups for Cleveland. They would go to Denver for back-to-back seasons and play the Broncos on Monday night football. So a bit of a break for Cleveland because they've got the added rest of Thursday night football for their next game, but then they get an extra day because it's on Monday night football. So Denver kind of getting the uh, short end of the stick here, but it works out well for Cleveland. 
Now, which game do you want to go to this year? I've had a couple of people reach out to me and say, love to go to a Browns game this year with you, PD. Is there a game we can kind of target and circle? So it's always fun to see which game you, the fans, want to go check out. So let me know down below in the comment section. Week 14, quickly, the Pittsburgh Steelers are on the schedule again, this time in Pittsburgh. And you know what? Best just not to play with fire. Don't play the Steelers in Pittsburgh on primetime early in the season. The motions and the uh, hype of the game may be too much. So you know what? Let's just stuff it in week 14 on the road at 1 p.m. Eastern. And that way the moment isn't too big. Week 15, the Chiefs come to town. Really wish they maybe played the Chiefs a little bit later in the year, honestly. It would have been like uh, maybe the Chiefs have nothing to play for, so Patrick Mahomes sits. But oh well, so that would be a fun matchup. Don't know who the Chiefs play the week before just yet. Week 16, yet another primetime matchup. This time it is against the Cincinnati Bengals on the road. So we know the Browns have dominated this rivalry ever since Kevin Stefanski took over. Excited for that game under the lights. Week 17, Miami Dolphins. Sunday night football. This is the fourth and final primetime matchup. Have you noticed that the NFL put all four of Cleveland's primetime matchups stacked at the end of the year? The first one is until week 12. My working theory is they do somewhat trust the Browns to be good this year. They gave them four primetime games, but they don't trust them enough to put it early in the year where they couldn't flex out of those games. So they put them all in the end so that if they're good, awesome. And if they aren't good, they could unflex them. So I know that this dog pound is not uh, in love with primetime matchups. This is a fan base that loves 1 p.m. football, and I'm with you guys. But four primetime matchups coming towards the end of the year. And then to wrap up the season in Baltimore against the Ravens in Week 18. Man, it feels like that could be a game with major playoff implications right there. So ultimately, look at the last couple of games here. Playoff team from last year. Playoff team. Playoff team. Barely missed the playoffs. Playoff team. Playoff team. Not an easy end to the season. But the Browns, they literally have the toughest schedule in the NFL based on last season's win percentage. But I wouldn't read too much into that because that was last year. They're not playing the 2023 versions of these teams. All these teams have had roster turnover. The Pittsburgh Steelers have a brand new quarterback for crying out loud. So I wouldn't look at that as the Browns are doomed because the NFL is such a you know parody league from year to year. But going back to the first question of the show, what is the Browns record going to be? Predict it for me down below in the comment section. Last year I had them going, I believe it was 11 and 7 or 11 and 6 cuz I had like two different record predictions after sleeping on it from the schedule release day to the record prediction day, which that'll be tomorrow. This year, Colin Brown come on the show. I'm going to go with the Browns winning 12 football games. Give me 12 and 5, baby. Ooh. Give me 12 and 5. 12 and 5. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. What okay. do you think? What's your record prediction? Unbiased. 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 Honestly, after looking at all that. Tough schedule. It is tough schedule. I think I'm good with 11 and 6. Okay. I can't hate, I can't hate on that. I can't I think hate on I, that. I think 11 and 6 is a very fair record. Like They don't play a bunch of gimme games. And there's no such thing yeah. as a gimme game in the NFL, but... It would have been nice to play the Panthers in there. Yeah. That I would think, have been a nice thing, a nice treat. Yeah. I right. mean, it, obviously, there's a lot of external factors out there. But if Deshaun Watson is good as you believe he is, yeah, this roster as a whole, there's no way it doesn't win double-digit games. I, I like, agree with that. Agree with that. Now, which card do you want to pick? I'm definitely picking the five of clubs. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not thinking twice about it. I'm going to go Jack of Spades. You know what? I'm actually going to go five of hearts because I feel like it would be the reverse this time. Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades. I'm going to go Five of Hearts. No. Seven of Diamonds. Seven of Diamonds. All right. That will do it for us on today's show. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch you all later.